Hello guys, welcome back to the series of lessons in extended essay. You know that in previous videos I talked about the general structure of extended essay, the title, the research question, the relationship between research question and title. Now it's the time to talk about the thesis statement. Okay, if I uh, make a similarity, I think your essay is a journey. It starts from an origin, goes to a destination. The thesis statement is all about your destination. So an essay with no thesis statement seems to be a journey with no destination. But how? In my opinion, thesis statement is the most important part of your essay. This is your paper, whole paper. This is your claim or your point you are trying to make. You know that in research question, we make a cause and effect question. How A affects B. For instance, how temperature will affect the electrical resistance of a copper wire. Now it's the time to answer that in thesis statement. So in thesis statement, you answer the research question. Do not surprise the reader. Tell them everything from the beginning. I told you. So here, I believe that in thesis statement, I will write something like that. Uh, that if the temperature increases, the electrical resistance of the copper wire, for instance, increases. So I believe that it will increase. And then all the argumentation, the tables, the evidences coming after that will prove exactly something I told them in the beginning in thesis statement. So everything you tell in thesis statement in a few sentences will be all about your struggle to prove. Afterwards, everything is coming to support the thesis statement. Um, in thesis statement, you answer to the research question in one or two sentences, not too long, based on what you are going to prove. Do not make it extended. It must be short, but complete. Generally, it's a complete thought. So in thesis statement, clearly express your points of development and your opinion about the research question. Tell the reader your idea about how does the cause make the effect, not in form of a question, but in form of a statement. Pay attention. Thesis statement is introducing your main topic. For instance, you believe that increasing the welfare in a society will increase the population. Okay, you will support your main topic with maybe a subtopic one. For instance, the subtopic one could be statistics about that. You will support it with an experiment you have done, maybe. So you will uh, introduce your subtopic two about that and also something more in subtopic three so if you have three different subtopics supporting your main topic tell them in your thesis statement it's very important so thesis statement must embrace all of them must include all all of them uh, the best i think is example so let's continue with a few examples to learn it better Okay, let's start with this research question. How plant extinction can affect human life considering Amazon rainforest destruction? Okay, about this research question, we must make an answer, which is the thesis statement. So the thesis statement could be, plant extinction must be stopped. Plants are important on the planet's survival as they balance oxygen level, provide food and clothing, and help maintain human health. As you see, the main topic is here. Plant extinction must be stopped. The first subtopic is about balancing oxygen level. So when the reader checks your essay, they must see the subtopic one, okay? And then the next subtopic will be providing food and clothing. It's different from the first subtopic, but it's also related to the main topic. And it could be maybe a few paragraphs to a few pages, it's up to you but you should have another subtopic about food and clothing. And the last will be about human health. So the third subtopic is different, but related to main topic and mentioned here. So the thesis statement can uh, reflect all the essay from the beginning to the end, but it's the destination. This is how you are going to prove your claim. Okay. 
Let's go for the next one. Research question is, how can mortgage affect population of age under 40, considering Berlin in the first decade of 21st century? Okay, the thesis statement could be, mortgage is an important factor for controlling the population in cities. The more mortgage, the more residential population, but it has a limit. Majority of people are seriously dependent to loans, but job vacancies put a limit for population growth. As you see, the first is the main topic. Mortgage is an important factor for controlling the population in cities. The subtopic one is about the effect of mortgage on residential population with a limit. It may be, as I told you, a few paragraphs to a few pages. And then the next subtopic will be the dependence of the people, majority of people to loans, and the last is about job vacancies and the limit of the, the effect, the limiting effect of that, those job vacancies to population growth. So the third subtopic also is related to the main topic, but it's different. So the reader must check your essay. They will see the first, the second, and the third subtopic separately as your argumentation. And they have all mentioned in this uh, part, which is the thesis statement. Okay. Let's check the other one. The research question is how does temperature of a copper wire affect its electrical resistance in DC current? It's in physics. Okay. The thesis statement could be temperature is a controlling factor for electrical resistance of copper wire. The higher temperature of the wire, the more electrical resistance tending to a limit as free electrons in higher temperature are disturbed and cannot have effective participation in conduction. It is also limited regarding the melting point. I see the main topic here. Temperature is a controlling factor for electrical resistance of copper wire. The next subtopic is about free electrons and in higher what, what's the behavior of them in higher temperature and so forth. And the last subtopic is about limiting factor uh, uh, about the melting point that's all so the reader will the reader will see the subtopic one subtopic two separately they have all related to the main topic and mentioned here so if the thesis statement includes everything from the beginning uh, the reader will not be surprised when they check your essay main parts of your thesis statement could also be considered from another aspect First is topic specific, information about the topic. Second is your opinion or your claim. This is what do you want to say or prove. And the last will be reasoning. So the reasons uh, why they should believe you. Okay. So let's check the previous parts, the, the previous cases again. But let me make an abbreviation here. Topic, opinion, reason. Okay. T-O-R. So... Let's scan them again with TOR scanner. Sample one, plant extinction must be stopped. Plants are important on planet survival as they balance oxygen level, provide food and clothing and help maintain human health. As you see, this is the topic, okay? This is the opinion, this is your claim. Plants are important on planet survival and this is the reasoning part. So when the reader checks your thesis statement, they must see the the three different separated parts, T or R, topic, opinion, and reason. Let's check the other one, sample two. Mortgage is an important factor for controlling the population in cities. The more mortgage, the more residential population, but it has a limit. Majority of people are seriously dependent to loans, but job vacancies put a limit for population growth. I see the topic here. I see the claim here, the more mortgage, the more residential population, but with a limit. And the last will be your um, re uh, reasoning. Majority of people are seriously dependent to loans, but job vacancies put a limit for population growth and so forth. This is again considered. So uh, the sample three also will have the same criteria. Uh, temperature is a controlling factor for electrical resistance of copper wire. This is the topic. The higher temperature of the wire, the more electrical resistance tending to a limit. 
as free electrons in higher temperature are disturbed and cannot have effective participation in conduction. It is also limited regarding the melting point. You see the opinion here. The writer will claim that the higher temperature of the wire, the more electrical resistance tending to a limit. And this is the reasoning part. The free electrons in higher temperature will have this behavior and so forth. I should also remind you, do not use expressions like I believe, I think, in my humble opinion, in your thesis statement. They are reflecting your hesitation. You are the boss of your essay. You must use strong expressions. It's highly recommended. Moreover, make your thesis statement narrower. Do not make it broad. As it is not a book, it's a, an essay. So you must be very, very focused. Look at a part of a thesis statement here. The U.S. industries are using taxpayers' money ineffectively. You see how ineffectively? Where? Let's make it narrower. The U.S. industries are using taxpayers' money ineffectively by financing less promising sectors. You see it's more focused here now. And the last is... Your thesis statement mustn't be in the form of a question because it's a statement. Look at this. Are Chinese people getting more interested in higher education? It could not be a thesis statement. It's a question. Let's amend it and make it in form of a real thesis statement. Chinese people are getting more interested in higher education due to more specialized job vacancies in the last decade but restricted capacity of recruitment will put a limit on this trend. It's much better. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Uh, the next video will be about academic value. See you there.